Some parts of this game may be considered violent or cruel. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Rumen. Today we will be playing Silent Hill 4. This is my personal favorite game in the Silent Hill series and I cannot wait to play this with you guys. Alright, so let's go to the options. I personally like vibration on, sound on, stereo, subtitles on. Uh, let's see the brightness level. I personally like to turn the brightness down just slightly and the contrast up just a little bit. I like it around there. This is just so the black portion under the red line is black, and that seems about black to me, so... Seems pretty good. Yes, I think the game looks a little better when you do that. I like my default control on run, noise effect on, it looks very pleasant in this game. Except for one area, there's one part in the game where, where I prefer it off, but besides that one part, uh, I like it on. Blood color on red, I like it on purple more, but you know, just to keep everything by default, I'm gonna choose red. And I like everything uh, normal, alright, let's, let's do this. And we will be starting a new game on hard. <laughs> that scream always catches me off guard. I, I like to think that he's like, like it's his scream and he's in shock at the state of the room he's in. Anyway, let's read this flavor text. What's with this room? It's covered in blood and rust. This is my room, but what the hell has happened to it? 
This room, is it really my room? It's in terrible shape. The air is so heavy. My head hurts. That's weird. My red typewriter is gone. You got a red typewriter right here, you say? Well, it's no longer here. This photo, was it here before? My head. So yes, he does not know what's happening. He is just as confused as we, the player, are. My head, so heavy. This photo, it's filthy. Was it here before? This scenery, I know I've seen it before. Alright, and that's really all there is you can do in here. You can try to open the window, but he can't. The window, I can't get it open. The hitbox for that was kind of small. Alright, so let's just leave. Well, there's a door right here. You cannot open that. Oh, creepy. Looks like it was devoured by the other world. What does this say? It's part of an old picture book. There was once a baby and a mother who were connected by a magical cord, but one day the cord was cut and the mother went to sleep. The baby was left all alone, but the baby made lots of friends at Wish House, and everyone was very nice to him. The baby was happy. It's ripped here and I can't read anymore. Huh. Our TV's on, can we turn that off? Where did this big TV come from? What? How would you not know they have a big TV in your room? I thought I had a record player here. I don't even know what this is. That's a radio. Look at that guy. Who is this guy? I wonder who that could possibly be, huh? Who are all these people? 21 people, it can't be. Why are they here? Creepy, it looks like a face. Huh. Seems all too strange. This door is shut for good. He's not even going to try to open it.
meet our protagonist, folks, Henry Townsend, and he is in for some shit because, whoops, cutscene. Hello? Help me. What? Huh? The cord's cut. That's odd. Anyway, like I was saying, he's in for some shit because people often consider this the hardest and scariest Silent Hill game. So, double whammy right there. You can examine this photo up here. It's that lake in Silent Hill. I went sightseeing there a few years ago. I like this photo because it really captures the beauty and tranquility of the trees and lake there. I put this up on the wall right after I moved here. I respect the man who sees the beauty in nature. You can also examine these photos over here. It's just a quick shot I took in downtown Silent Hill. It's a nice tourist town about a half day's drive from here. So we're not even in Silent Hill. You can examine the window. I guess Henry likes that girl down there. I wonder why he's eyeballing her. Hmm. What's she doing? She's gonna go down the subway, right? Well, there she goes. She looks kind of tipsy from the way she was moving. Or is that just me? You can look around now, the window. This is really cool. How you can just look out this window. And you can actually, like, move around. You can see the people next door. There's a guy sleeping down there in in that room. There's a guy in that room over there. It looks like that person over there is looking at us. In that window right there. 555-3750. Let's check that out, shall we? Also, you can knock on the window. That's cool. Alrighty, so let's, uh... 555-3790, shall we? I mean, 3750. What well, I <laughs> sadly that text just flashed for like one millisecond. He doesn't have anything that interesting to say about it though. Don't worry about it. He just kind of says like, "What was that noise just now?" That was weird. Which is a pretty realistic reaction if you ask me. Anyway, we spent a lot of time in this room, so I'm going to examine this photo and then leave. This is a photo of the church I ran across while I was visiting Silent Hill. For some reason, I was really attracted to the way it looked, so I took the picture. Also, you can examine this. There are a lot of small items here, but none of them are particularly interesting. Okay, now we'll leave. Look at this place. Looks completely different than it did at the beginning of the game, don't it? You, come, you, you can come in here now. It's not locked anymore. There's a bathtub right here. It's just a normal bathroom. Nothing has changed since I moved here two years ago. That's kind of sad. Think about it, like nothing has changed. I don't feel like washing my face right now. Come on, Henry, it's good for you to wash your face. I wash my face every day. There's nothing to do here. I always just love how this apartment looks. This th this apartment is very iconic to the Silent Hill series, even though it's only in the fourth entry. This chest could hold a lot of stuff. This is this game's inventory right here. Your items will be placed here, and you'll get to pick them up throughout the game, and you get to come back to your room and put them back here. Yeah, it's pretty fun. We'll be getting that later. Big old TV right there. Something right here. It looks like a scrap from some book. Man, this thing looks like it was written ages ago. Through the ritual of the Holy Assumption, he built a world. 
It exists in a space separate from the world of our Lord. More accurately, it is within yet without the Lord's world. Unlike the world of our Lord, it is a world of extreme flux, unexpected doors or walls, moving floors, odd creatures, a world only he can control. Anyone swallowed up by that world will live there for eternity, undying. They will haunt that realm as a spirit. How can our Lord forgive such an abomination? This part of the book is too damaged to read. It is important to travel lightly in that world. He who carries too heavy a burden will regret it. The book is too damaged to read anymore. That's very telling for how cryptic it is. Are you yearning for that special place to spend quality time with your loved one? Do you need to relax and get away from it all? Come to Silent Hill for the ultimate peaceful getaway. One of my favorite elements about this game is that there are a lot of different radio signals you can get from this, and they're all pretty interesting. They're all pretty interesting, and I'll be sure to show off a lot of them. What is this right here? It's our save system. All right, let's save. Level hard saves one, room 302. Already seven minutes in, you can examine this photo. I got this photo from Frank Sunderland, the superhero at South Astral Heights. Sunderland, you say? I don't know if I'm wasting a lot of time by examining so many things, but it's just that there's just so much to examine in Henry's little room here, and there's just a lot of flavor text in general in this game. It's a photo of me as a kid, and then when I graduated from high school. What's in here? Wine and chocolate milk. Sure, let's take it. Got a wine bottle. Bottle of white wine from the refrigerator. It'll break eventually if I keep using it as a weapon. There's chocolate milk here. Take the chocolate milk? Well, I mean... Nah, we don't want it to go bad. Something that always kind of irritated me is that when you take that chocolate milk out of the fridge, you can't put it back in the fridge. You have to put it in the chest. And then the milk gets all old. Anyway, we really don't need this wine bottle, so let's just get rid of that. The wine bottle in there. before the party. There are handprints on the wall. Is Henry gonna say anything about that? No? Alrighty then. What was that? Uh, let's read this first. Also, I, I put the wine bottle in that, uh, chest, so I might as well put the milk in there. Check this out. This ch chocolate paper milk, very sweet. It was in the refrigerator at home. This always just, like, bothered me. Okay, so you can't put it back in the fridge. You use it later, and you have to put it back in the chest. Yep, fuck that chocolate milk. Let it go bad. What's this? Mom, why doesn't you wake up? Put the first letter in your scrapbook. You can view the scrapbook by pressing triangle. And you can examine these locks on the door. It's totally locked up. I can't get it off no matter what I do. 
My favorite thing to examine here is the doorknob. I can't open the door. I like to think he's trying his damn hardest, but he just can't do it, you know what I mean? A lot of struggle in this game. So the noise was in here. Oh boy, I wonder what could happen. I'm so startled. is oddly peculiar. What is this thing hanging right here? The sewage pipe's broken too. Pulling the part hanging down? I got a steel pipe. Hell yeah, now this is the Silent Hill game. Three foot long sewer pipe. Not very powerful, but fairly easy to use. Alrighty, I feel like that's a good place to end off. Next time we're going to go through this hole. Thank you for watching. Bottle of white rind... Bottle of white... Bottle of white wine from the refrigerator. It'll break eventually if I keep using it as a weapon.